second movie, second episode after the very long pilot that we had. If uh, you sat through the preview episode of Matt and Yale recap stuff before we survive. called it that, <laughs> where we talked about the 94 minute long movie Gone in 37 minutes. Thank you. I'm sorry. Hello. That wasn't a horror movie. Thanks a lot, Amazon, for telling us it was. But we didn't watch it in October, so maybe that's why. So, it's October when you're seeing this. It's been on October. Pre-production note. Yeah. We are watching this in September. We have to get some pre-production in because it's a lot to watch a movie, upload a video, talk about it every single day in a month. But mm -hmm. we decided to start with that. So No, so we cannot wait to see all those movies. Yeah. So we are here live from our hotel room in Paris. As you can see from the window behind me, that is the Eiffel I'm Tower of hotel. Paris. Yes. So that's where you can go buy some keychains underneath that if you ever come to Paris. That's where to go. I'm Matt. And I'm Matt too. I'm Yael. And we're talking we're about going. the movie Veronica. Yes, it was so, my favorite horror movie. I'm not sure so far, but so definitely far myself. So far yeah. this month, it's the best horror movie we've watched so far. <laughs> Veronica, it's yeah. a subtitled movie from Spain based on true events, based on a police report. I love true events stories. So, we wrote notes... I didn't write them as extensively this time as I did my... He fell asleep and we had to watch the end of it again. But there was off a little bit. We started watching it at <laughs> He didn't know what he's night. talking about. I'd taken NyQuil. Yeah. And my first note was... We may spoil some stuff. That's our first oh, note. Oh, yeah. Yeah. By the way, a lot of spoilers coming up. So if you didn't watch the movie, watch it and not alone. It's, It's on Netflix. Every yeah. movie that we watch is on or the Netflix... Hulu or Amazon Prime Video streaming. So if you want to join us in the discussion, it's too late, but you can comment below. I also we're going to say at the end of the... So last episode, we we were wrong. Uh, but tonight, like th this episode, we're going to say at the end of the episode what movie we're going to watch tomorrow so you can catch up with us. Yeah. It's Willard. Willard. Not the new one, the old one. Crispin Glover did a remake of it. So he made a list of his own. I made the other half. And I She pronounces guess... the L in half. Huh? She pronounces the letter L in half. It's a Hebrew. Half. Thing. No, we say chetty. Okay. The Hebrew thing. Yeah. Half. He did half. I did half. 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 And together it's one perfect... One. Yeah, so this was your movie pick. Yeah, Veronica was my pick. Ladies I wanted to first watch. in October. You picked Gone. Yeah, that was in October. <laughs> We're still not in October. <laughs> anyway, Veronica it was my choice for like long time before we started to do that thing. So I was really excited about that movie. I heard like crazy things about it, which... Loco! <laughs> It's crazy in Spanish. Good. Good. Okay, so we're international. So <laughs> So I read this movie. That? Huh? Oh yeah, you read the yeah. movie. I I don't know, I do like in English. I don't need to listen all the time and just can understand you, with things that are just happening sometimes. You do like in English? I do that in English. Yeah. Sometimes. And I I I did read most of it. You uh, did read most of it. Okay. I did read most well, of it. Well, our English ah! Continue. Okay, my first my first wa note was oh it's Spanish <laughs> that's it because I, I forgot I knew that it's in Spanish but then I forgot that it's like I was like oh my god I need to read so and it's not in Hebrew the subtitle if you wrote a note about something that we already talked about in the video you don't have to mention it again uh, show notes so, okay okay so my next note. Yeah, it start, starts with a 911 call, children screaming, police sirens, we learn some shit went down, and it's based on that police report. 
And then it cuts to... Yeah, the police officers and detective or whatever standing in front of a room. And there's obviously something that's happening inside the room, but we don't know exactly what's happening. Just their faces. It's like... They're fighting. Something horrible. Horrible. Not horrible. 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 Yeah, but the thing that I wanted to say is that I heard, like, I read some articles about that movie and I was kind of like, okay, that sounds like... A little fake because there are like so many reviews that like people stopped watching the movie in the middle and people couldn't like watch all the way through it. And we did it. And I don't think that it's like the scariest movie of all because like it's very different between people. Like I didn't, I wasn't scared at all of the exorcist. exorcist. Like, but I know people like screamed all the way. So I, I don't know. It's all the way through it. Yeah. Yeah, it's not was, a movie you scream I was, all the way Yeah, through. so I was watching that movie when I was, I think, 11. A priest 11. doing research. Ah! I was 11, Sean, my best friend, on one side, holding my hand, and Omer, oh, my sure. other friend. And, and they both kept screaming like crazy and hold my, held my hands. And I'm like, that's not that scary. Like, I didn't realize, like, what's happening. But it was fun. Scariness is subjective. This, this movie was a lot of, like, full of, like, Jumping moments. How, how did you say what people call it? There was a lot of full with jumping moments. No, fright, fright. Frights. Fright. Frightening fright. moments. Yeah. Scenes. Yeah, I kept like, like, <sighs> hitting yeah. him and like. Trying to tickle <gasps> me. <gasps> it's so, not tickling. I was so scared you were tickling me. <laughs> no, I was yeah. like. Give problems, like touching right. problems. <laughs> so it cuts back to a few days before this incident occurred. A. Yeah, a teenager, a young woman, is waking up cute little kids to get ready for school. There's two, they look like twin girls and a baby brother. One of them brother. looks like a boy, and I was like, I kept thinking that it's a boy till the half of the movie. Until halfway through, she thought they were one was a boy. Three no, I, I, I was like I mean, trying to remember dresses. this. Yeah, yeah, that's why I was like, something's wrong with those. Real, with well boy. before halfway through. It was 91, like, gays weren't like that, like, common thing. In sp- no, I'm kidding. Gay <laughs> people are not the ones that wear dresses, but it took place yeah, in 1991. <laughs> yeah. I really like, like, all the 91, like, ambience that they created. They it's did very, make some they did. cool music yeah. that's very uh, similar to a uh, vibe you would hear from maybe, like, the Friday the 13th video game. A lot of synth. Um, there's stuff that, like, that they also so, used to the, the show Strange Things, but it was good. It was well done. So I watched, I read something on MDB after the movie, and it says that there is a band, I forgot the name of them, uh, but there is a band that like was promoted all the way like in the movie, in the entire movie. Like She was wearing like t-shirts of them, and all her walls were covering, covering with, covered, covered with, <laughs> with posters, and they're like heat, and it's pretty cool. So they did all the music. Big hits. Yeah. Big all right. Job. So she wakes up these kids, and you don't know if she's a young mom, a single mom, or big sister, or her mother seems to be sleep, sleeping one off. We don't know if she's an alcoholic or a drug addict. That's what my first indication was. Turns out she was. I, I thought that she's a demon or something. The mother? Yeah, she, that she's like kind of like a crazy, cool, cool lady. So she stayed up all the last night. No, she, haunting kids I, no, I have no idea. She was like locked in her room. The kids even didn't go to say hi to her. And when the the older oldest girl like went to grab something from her room, she was like kind of. I was like, please don't wake up. Just... My mother, the demon. Okay, well, no, I, I, not... I didn't think that she was a demon. I thought she was just hungover or something. <laughs> She's it working turns out very she was third shift at a diner or a bar, yeah. diner bar, some kind of concoction of the two. A restaurant that stays open late because it's Europe and things stay much and later than they do here in Boston. Yeah, we do that. Not here in Boston. <laughs> in East Bay. And they all go to Catholic and, school. Yeah, the, the, the dead, uniforms. The dead, the dead is dead. That's something like I figured out right in the beginning when she was looking at this picture. Yeah. And she took care of all her younger siblings. Single mom, older kid, much younger siblings. Dad's out of the picture. Just in a picture form. He's dead, so they go to school. Veronica is the name of their, our title character, our hero, the older girl. She brings the kids to school, gets there on time, 
and she learns about eclipses in her Catholic school and how Mayan gods had human sacrifices during eclipses, and then it's time to go watch it. So everybody in the high school and the little kid's school is Going told to the go on the roof. To watch the eclipse. Through pieces of film. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we did in the 90s. Yeah. I watched like an eclipse. Now you don't even need eye goggles. You just, if you're Donald Trump, you just look up at the sky. <laughs> I looked through a puddle last time. <laughs> I remember people in my school having welding helmets. Uh -oh. What is that? Uh, it's a f mask covers everything but your eye when you're... Oh, yeah, yeah, that's... Metal. I know, yeah, that's... A... Yeah, I, uh, I, I did not own a welding helmet, so I think I just didn't look. Oh, good choice. Like the moon, good the sun. Good choice, yeah. but like, not being Donald Trump. Yeah. <laughs> and you want me to read your, my notes? Sure. Okay, like, like the last one, and like, I want to go to Madrid. I've never been there. Um, and the last movie, I wanted to go to Oregon. I'm making a list. Can you, can you watch like the next movie? Is the next movie... Is in the Caribbean. I don't know. I'm not, I go no, there. I don't think so. Right. Let's find some. Uh, and I wrote that, I don't know, it felt like very authentic, like since the beginning, and I love based on true story, which I always really suspicious about it in the beginning. And what I wrote somewhere there that, can I just write, like, can I just make a movie and just claim that it's based on a true story? Are yeah. there people that are checking that? or No, the Fargo... Movies like that too. It says it's based on true events. It's not. Okay, that's cool. So. No, this one feels like really real. Yeah, yeah, but there's so many things. In oh it yeah, they did it like. That like. It's a movie. It's based on a police report, but all right, um, we're jumping ahead. But, yeah. You know, does the did the in the police report? Do they know that they were learning about Mayan human sacrifices? Oh no, there, there wasn't an there wasn't an eclipse on that year. I, re I read all those goofs like an IMDb already. So there wasn't an eclipse on that year. The thing is that she went to The do... police were called, and then they made a horror movie around and it. Yeah. <laughs> That's the wrap-up. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Come on. So, so, so they skip... Uh, the Everybody goes to the roof. Ver Veronica, Veronica and two and, of her best friends. No, one of her best friends and a friend of a friend okay. go to the basement. Veronica's kind of catty little high school student who's this bitch why is she hmm. here and because they need three people when you're messing around with the ouija board really that she buys like the low? cult place is so, it a low thing i don't think it's a, a law law but uh that's what they say okay. so they go there the more the merrier when it comes to ouija boards they look at the basements of the church they start messing around with the ouija board Veronica brings a picture of her dead dad. They try to contact him. The Ouija board starts moving, going crazy. It goes over the sun, very eclipsian. Veronica gets cut because the Ouija board piece is a is just an upside down glass jar. Looks like something that you would use in that newfangled thing where you put jars on people's backs to treat. You never soreness. did like a seance. Yeah. Uh, I used the Ouija board, but we had the yeah, little so plastic piece. It wasn't a big glass jar like usually that. Usually, it's a glass jar. What about when in you buy movies. it from in the movies? <laughs> I didn't. Yeah, in, the, in, in movie. movies in general, I've never done that. Well, she cut herself and bled onto the sun. It burned a hole in the Ouija board. The Ouija board breaks in half very dramatically. Her and her friends get freaked out. Veronica goes into like a catatonic state, starts shaking. Her friends are like, ah, oh, we're going to get in trouble. Also, my friend is in a bad way. So they call the nuns and they, they get her out of there. They uh, they must have cut all the scenes where the two girls got detention or something. But never find out about any consequences. Yeah. So she, you know, gets all okay. messed up, goes into the nurse's okay, office. Okay, if they watch it, they, they should know those things. If they didn't, yeah, you should no, this watch is a it. a recap. We're recapping. Yeah, it. but you're just like saying whatever happened. Uh, so have you ever have you ever done the Ouija, Ouija board? Ouija board? Yes. How do you say that? Yeah, Ouija board. Ouija board. Yeah. And what happened? Um, well, I didn't try to contact anyone specific, and I didn't have a picture of a dead person or an item of a dead person in my life to try to contact. So 
I think I pretended to move it around. You did it alone? No, you can't do it alone. It's not oh, okay. fun. Yeah, you need three people. That's the law. You don't need three people. I think it was more than three people. I don't know. It was probably at some elementary school party or something. But she so didn't move. Yeah, I think it moved. I don't think it moved on its own. Yeah, but I'm like that's what I'm saying. Because I had like an experience with a spiritual thing. But oh, really? I, yeah. Well, why don't you recap? Your I'm ju- yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna thing, recap you that. You don't want me the, I'm gonna recap that. Movie. It was like the craziest thing that happened to me. Was like spirits and ghosts and I seen like I believed in ghosts and like all those like spiritual things like since forever since I was a kid because I like that that's why I like I I don't know if it exists or not but I like to believe that it is because it's I don't know it makes my life interesting I guess so I went to um what do you call it like in the scouts do you have like a meeting what is doing meeting yeah and it was like a scary night or something and they taught us how to do like a seance so like so you take the bible book you put a key in the middle and you take um just a string or something to attach the the key from the inside you understand what I'm describing okay. so like you put the key inside of this here in the middle and then you just like tie it with a okay. wrist hole and then you invite the the ghost and you ask questions and then you ask like yes or no question and the book just moves right and left and I was like so two of the 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 oldest girls like did it I was like I think in seventh grade and two of the oldest girls did it and I was like oh come on they're moving it I love horror movies since I was a kid and like no way that it's it's real so I tried it when I went home alone and it it, it moved alone. I swear to God, I was like so, so scared. I took it out and I was like, oh my God, that's crazy. And so I can't. I what can't, yes or no questions did you ask your Bible? No, I, I don't remember. No, you asked like the, Are you the a ghost. Bible? So the thing is that you need to ask like a, a general question that you know the answer about and you say like, show me where is yes and it shows you. And then you ask like a general question to see if it's like. It tells you the truth or whatever. So you almost did air quotes on that. Huh? <laughs> you started to go. Yeah. No air quotes. Yeah, because it's like you know, I, I have no idea why it happens. So maybe it's like, but the, you hold it, you hold like that, like the key, and the move, it moves. So one time during class at school, seventh grade, I was twelve years old. I did it with a Bible, and. During the, the class, yes, and the book just started to spin and it fell on my hand and I was like, "What the fuck?" So I held it again and even before I asked the question, it just kept like spinning. I was like, "Oh my god, that's that was like the the scariest moment in my life." So I took everything out and I rebuilt it to try to do that again and to like kind of like find a normal ghost or whatever, and it kept spinning. I couldn't stop it. I was like, at the moment that I held it, it just like spin and fell. Well, and I was so, so scared. It should be noted that they use a different Bible than the, the correct one. The what? We use the real Bible. So, we just like, move on. Listen, the second... The Religion second, is the, bullshit. The second, the second, no, it's not. You're going to fast. All right, let's go. We spent yeah. five minutes talking about how a Bible spun one time. Yeah, it was like super crazy, and I didn't know what to do because I was really scared at that point. I know point. what you could do. Wait 10 years and then mention it in the middle of a YouTube recap. No, oh, listen what I did because I was super scared. I took my key because it was my house key, and I asked a strong kid from the other class to break it for me, and he did that. And then I went to my mom and I told her that I lost my key. And uh, she's, I, I, she probably doesn't remember that. They, just I just use your Bible to break in the window. <laughs> oh, my God. No, but I lost, like, a few keys, so I'm sure that she's not going to be like, oh, you lied to me about that. But it's like, yeah, I felt like better that I was lying to her because that wasn't the reason that I needed a new key. But. See, I have more of a hard time believing that a, a kid could break a key oh, no. because he was strong. So we tried to do that in different ways because the key was really strong. It's not like the keys were in our okay. apartment. we got to cut this story short. No, we had like a hole in the ground. We put the key like this. We put a rock and we just like step on it. Yeah, that's 
Don't do that. Smart. Don't do that. Yeah, don't do. Yes, I'm. Just... So she okay. goes home. She tries to eat dinner. Has another seizure in the middle of eating a meatball. Scares her sisters, and breaks into her mom's house. Goes back. Yeah, you know, basically, something is wrong with Veronica, and she starts to go to bed. She has a nightmare. Is it a nightmare or is it reality of her dead, naked dad and a ghost shadow man? So the naked dad looks just like Twin Peaks Bob from 91. That was his best year, I guess. Bob is a, <laughs> a character from Twin Peaks, yeah. yeah he, he inspired Spanish creepy. dads worldwide, yeah, probably. mostly in Spain. Yeah. Um, but the Bob character, like. He had long gray hair. He was, like, really scary. In my opinion, when we watched Twin Peaks, and I always kept like imagining him like behind the couch. Like, I don't know. So when I saw her dad, looked like he well, was her like, dad not in the again. middle of the living room, not behind the couch. Yeah, it's still, like, he Bob didn't, gets he didn't like, kill something. anyone. Yeah. So in that moment, I'm just calling out to her in a very creepy way. Can I tell them what really happened and why do I believe in ghosts? So in that moment, that Veronica is sitting, like laying in her bed and looking into the sky with a to the ceiling with a flashlight and she has like some stars on the on the ceiling our fire alarm started to work uh, why did you why did because you you're kicking the table that moves sorry. the computer <laughs> so the fire alarm started to work and I think that work or malfunction it just went off for no reason there was no fire and it was like very late at night it was like 11 30 <laughs> yeah and no fire and no steams and no nothing. And no dead naked guys either. No. Thank you. Yeah, but that was like the scariest part of the movie. Thank Christian God there was no dead <laughs> naked ghosts there. Yeah, so things are going crazy. Don't get the med. They're crazy still here. in her life. She's dealing with her little brother who's crying and the ghost seems to be visiting him. He, he kind of casually mentions it that Papa came by and... She says, don't talk to him, which is good. You know, big sister. So talk to strangers, even if they're familiar people that you once knew who were not dead. So uh, she tries to give him a bath later on, leaves the room because she thinks she sees a ghost. She comes back. Her brother's almost boiling because the water is very hot. The TV little kid is on. a very good actor. Yeah, he was very cute. He, like, he was very cute and very creepy. Yes. He has like an eye that like, goes inside. How do you call it? He's blowing his nose, if you were wondering. I'm pushing my eye that's inside. <laughs> he had glasses. Oh, sorry. I don't know if he had a lazy he, eye. Or... Yeah, he was like, like one eye looked like straight and the other one looked inside. With his glasses, he had like... Both of his eyes are inside. He was so sweet. Oh, my God. Yeah. Antonito. Antonito. So, um, he's very forgiving, too, because he's boiling in water. He doesn't try to get out, but he doesn't blame his big sister, even though... It's her negligence. Or a ghost came in and turned up the... Uh, and do you know top. what I really like in scary movies? Babies uh, being harmed? No, I, li I like like authentic stings. So I really like when there's like... Like the children's... Huh? said authentic stings. Like the police. Okay. No, like... You don't have to turn on the red lights. <laughs> it's Benito. No, no, no. <laughs> Benito. So I, I like that like horror movies are authentic and kind of real and less like sci-fi and, and sci-fi sci-fi <laughs> yes sci-fi sci they don't sci-fi it's as like much it's from like science fiction movies in french in french instead of wi-fi they say wi-fi i can say fifi yeah so but wifi. nobody will understand you so you I should understand say words myself. that people That's understand the most oh well you are the only person watching this video right now so. yeah so probably <laughs> anyway so i i don't like i do like monsters and stuff but it's not gonna leave me with any nightmares or like any oh my god i'm so scared right now but but like things about uh like paranormal activities and and ghosts and spirits and and things that involve religion because these are things that no one proves that they are not true or not like real obviously it's not something that, like you see all the time or you see even at all but but it's out there and i really like to believe that it happens yeah it's fun 
Okay, we're setting ourselves a five minute deadline. We're at twenty four minutes oh and thirty God, seconds. Sorry, left. we're sorry. So if we're still here. But shit it. happens to her in her personal life. She's going crazy, seeing ghosts, it's affecting her family, it's becoming real. And then bad stuff is happening in her social life. Her best friend Rosa is acting cold to her ever since the seance, you know? It's like your friend has a seizure and then all of a sudden they're not as cool anymore and you start hanging out with the other friends that didn't have a seizure at the seance. So she's not passing her notes in class. She's wondering, not getting invited to the party because Vera, Veronica is always babysitting. Yeah. So Rosa's acting her real cold towards her. So then Rosa rejects her pretty much when Vera tries to have a reunion seance in the middle of a daytime party, which is another weird thing. I don't know Maybe if the party a was thing. going from the night before already, like, but they're like... It's like a cerveza thing. Yeah, like it's as soon as... You know, usually if you're uh, throwing a party as a team, your parents leave in the morning, they go on vacation, they go away for the weekend, you spend the time setting up for the party, calling everybody. No, nah, apparently in Spain, think they just it. come over immediately after <laughs> and start just immediately be acting drunk and handsy and because as soon as she comes in, guys try to like touch her. Try to make her like go into a threesome in a kitchen somewhere. What? They're like touching. Oh my god! Her. He was dozing off in that moment. Yeah, I was fantasizing about it. Go back and watch it. She goes. Not in, real. It didn't happen. She's I was looking. Up. She has to find Rose's friend of a friend. So all three of them are at the seance because earlier uh, the creepy nun character that we haven't talked about, who is blind, oh, yeah. uh, Mother Death. I think that's what they call her. Is uh, tells her that basically. She fucked up in the seance, and that's why all this bad stuff's happening. Yeah, because she didn't say goodbye to her dead dad, and now he's out for revenge. Because, you know, parents do teach you politeness, and you should say it's hello and goodbye It's not her dad, though. People. It's just like a, she called someone. It's her she, dad. Her dead it's dad. It's not her dad. Oh, my God. They want to go back and watch it again, and we're going to do that. Then why does the little kid call her Papa? And why is because it the she saw naked him. Version? She saw him as a dad, but it wasn't a dad. Someone came. Someone answered to her call. That's what the nun said. And then she was like, so if it's not my dad, who is it? Okay. So. It's not her dad. What? Her dad is involved somehow because she's imagining him, but it's like. So ruin my the joke. the beauty of spirit. spirit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I take back and the trans, fact that I tried to have a joke spirit. and make this more enjoyable. Oh. So go on. What? what? Oh, no. Did, we have three minutes left. Did, okay. And did the we movie pass, is did pass my favorite part of the movie that I, I made you like watch it again? So it was kind of in the beginning after the scenes, and so she was walking. That was one of oh, my reflection. favorite, yeah, yeah. not reflection. It was one of my favorite, like scary moments of horror movies of all time. It was just like beautiful, like the the shots and like how did they shot, mm -hmm. and like how did they film it? So she was walking to the TV because the TV turned on. Oh, and that's what I wanted to say before. They like all those like authentic children's songs. So it's like kind of like spooky. So the TV just turned on and she was walking to it to turn it off because she was alone in the, in the living room. So she was walking to the TV and she was, while she was walking, she passed the hole from the other side for the corridor. And Matt didn't notice that because it was kind of like, if you're not it's really a looking thing, at that but moment, if you really, if it sticks out, it, it was impact. amazing. So we re rewind it. Yeah, and we then you watch it. And it yeah, so there's like this is this is a there's well a figure it, there's a figure that's coming from the corridor while she's walking to the TV and she's like sitting in front of the TV and behind her through the TV you can see a reflection but she cannot see that because she's hiding it. It's a that was my favorite scene of the movie. It's beautiful. So I think we, we don't have to spoil the ending of the movie because if you haven't seen it, it's good. But let's just give our final thoughts on the film. It was a good way to Can I read this start one? out the... I, w I want to read like one of my notes. Like, oh my god, the final alarm just turned on. The scariest moment of the movie so far. Yeah. Hey, remember what we said? We're not going to read our notes, but it's something that we already talked about earlier. Yeah, but then I saw that here, and I was like, oh my god, that was the moment. Well, that's a good way to wrap things up. So... I enjoyed the movie. The end did, is amazing. But I did doze off a little bit before the end. We rewatched it. I basically just missed one detail. But it's a good one. So it's a really if, good movie. If really you have good. Netflix or a person right. that has yeah. it, it was good. Yeah. If, you, if you're afraid of subtitles movies, it's not that bad. It's not a huge dialogue-heavy film. And 
and the kids are cute. There's funny moments, well shot, tense, scary parts, quality soundtrack. Yeah, and it's not like those old uh, Ouija, like, there recently there are a lot of like Ouija horror movies, like Ouija 1, Ouija 2. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So it's not that like dumb, and like, oh, come on. Okay. No, it's a really good one. At the end of the movie, there are like some pictures of the. Of the so, evidence from the from ninety one from the real story of the case of the, that yeah. it's based on, yeah. Yeah, so it's super cool. So there's not that much Ouija stuff. It's low in Ouija. Yeah, higher <laughs> Mario, Luigi. <laughs> I love Mario. All right, thanks All right. for watching. Now let's say goodbye, right? Because I don't want to do that again. And then, do you want to read yeah. more notes? We no, we just about? need to say goodbye correctly that we want. Like, oh, oh, so we don't have to do yeah. this episode. Vero, vero, vero. Pero... Goodbye. Goodbye. Adios. Adios.